Well, well, good morning, side friends and middle man. Coming at you again from Walker's Music. We well, yet another word for the day. Tuesday morning, we thank God for life, health, and strength. We thank Him for each and every one of you. Side friend, you know who you are. We just feel blessed this morning. Uh, we had a bad storm to come over yesterday. Matter of fact, uh, I was standing in the doorway. I was standing in the doorway once the cloud came in, came in from the west, from toward Alabama, and the cloud was pretty dark, but all of a sudden, when it got here, it seemed like it, it went up, the storm went up, uh, I don't know what happened, but thank God, but I'm, but I'm sadly to say that it, other places wasn't as fortunate as our town here. Uh, there was some damage that was done, I've heard, and I've not seen it in the news thus far, but my heart goes out to the victim that had any loss of life or limb, property damage whatsoever. It's, my heart goes out, and I'm, I'm saying I'm praying for you as well as with you. And uh, we, we, we just, uh, we, we don't understand these things, uh, people. We don't. And uh, we just give the all over into the hands of our good God. We got a good God. Matter of fact, uh, in man, in my opinion, I just don't believe that God sends these storms. I really don't. I don't believe it. Uh, I believe Satan somehow, somehow or another is behind that. I, I really do, but now I could be wrong. I could be wrong, but uh, nevertheless, but I just don't believe God. Cause God is not a destructor. Satan is a destructor. Satan's Satan job is to kill, steal, and destroy. That is not God. So I'm just saying, I mean, I, I mean, some of you may disagree with me, but I'm just saying God is good, and God does not do bad, in my opinion. That's just the way I see it. So be it. I want to say something here, people, though. I'm going to deal with a subject tonight in the Bible study, if the Lord say so. Um, on the Bible study tonight on Blog Talk Radio. I'm going to be dealing with some things. We're going to be calling it, hypocrisy. In other words, hypocrisy. And uh, we, we, we were dealing with it because of the fact that we, on the last two weeks, we studied about the rich man and diabetes. The rich man and Lazarus. Uh, diabetes and Lazarus, however you want to call it. About him lifting up his eyes in hell because he, he probably could have done so much more for Lazarus than he did do. If anything. And I'm going to come from that tonight and I'm just going to Mention briefly here. I don't want to make this video too long this morning, but I'm just going to briefly mention it right here what I'm what I'm trying to say. I don't know why is it that some of us think that other people have more time to deal with us than we do to deal with them. I don't understand that. But most of the time, people tell you, "Oh, I was so busy. I was too busy." To, you know, when you called, I was doing this and I was doing that, and when you text. I didn't get a chance. I was so busy. You know what, people? God runs the universe. God runs the universe, and yet and still, he has the time to take to listen to every one of our complaints and complaints. You heard what I said, complete. He listens to every one of our pleas and these, all that, and yet and still, and he runs the universe. Now, don't tell me you more busier than God. People, I don't think that is, I think that's very hypocritical of us. When we can think that, why do you think that I can just drop what I'm doing when you need me? But yet and still, you, I text you and you don't even have the decent text back. I mean, what I want doesn't mean anything. No, no. That's, hypo, that's hypocritical, people. We need to stop that. But yet and still, we talking about these are the, our buddies and our contacts. We love them. Now, I can understand if you're not a contact, well, hey, I understand that. But we got people that we call our friends and contact, and they contact you. You don't even bother to even say anything back to them. I'm going to deal with that tonight in the Bible study, hopefully. In other words, people, why do you expect me to have so much more time than you? We all got 24 hours a day. It's allotted to all of the same amount of time during the day. So why would you think that I've got so much time to deal with you when you don't want to deal with nobody? See, that's the problem with a lot of us. We are... We are lopsided. We, we are one-sided when it comes to things. We expect everybody to do for us. And like I say, it's just like when it comes to our, our God. You know, we nobody can make you do anything. God don't want you to be, have to be made 
to serve him. He don't want you to be made to love him. Whatever you spend your time in doing, that's what you enjoy. That's what you, if you put more time into this than you do that, then this is what you love more than that. Point blank. If you don't spend no quality time with God, that means you do not love God. People, Jesus said you shall know the tree by the fruit. And it's not for us to judge each other, but I'm just saying. It's like my pastor say. I'm just saying. In, in other words, everything is very apparent. It's very clear. What you spend your time with and what you spend your time doing, that is where your, that's where your heart is. That's what you enjoy. That's what you love. If you, you cannot say you love God, but you don't want to spend for just a few minutes, and you want, if you read a few scriptures, you're trying your best to hurry up and get through so you can get back to doing what you know, people. Please, come on. You're, you're fooling yourself. That's what I'm going to be dealing with tonight in the Bible study. If the Lord says so, and if I get a chance to do it, this is many man saying whatever you get, whatever you get into it. God ain't in it. Please, ma'am, please, sir, come out of it. Because it's going to come to nothing. Till tonight in the Bible study, if the Lord says so, and if the weather permits, peace and good day.